How did that happen? <laughs> All right. Um, when you're ready, what we're going to do is follow the sat nav. Yeah, we're going to help me, right? <laughs> official test show. Yeah, I'll be quiet, but if you have questions, um, yeah, ask because sure. I will distract people if I talk too much. I'm my <laughs> third cup of coffee already today. So. Third. Oh, God, yeah. Get out. That's a record for me. Five. So one straight away and then the rest from shortly after. <laughs> right, so we will be turning right here. It's not a roundabout. So if you hear the sat nav say roundabout, just ignore it. If it's safe, turning right. Lovely. And we're basically just going to have a look at a test route today. So don't stress too much. Just see this as an opportunity to see a test route. Yeah. Okay, already 14 minutes 10. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, they can be a little strict on the speed limits through the test centre. Like you mentioned, 10 miles an hour. Ah, oh, now I know where that's coming from. Okay. After 80 yards, turn left, Aerodrome Road. Turn left. After 300 yards, turn right, A41, Watford Way, then turn right. Turn right, then turn right. Just a mm -hmm. tiny bit. There we go. We're going on the faster roads now. Been to this junction before. Yes, I was, I was always going straight. <laughs> All right, cool. So this is a new direction. Um, new things we've seen so far today was that new turning into the test centre of the mirror yeah. in that corner, and then this junction here. Turning right. Pointing. Yes, very good, <laughs> thank you. Good with your markings, well done. Excellent mirrors. Good coming to the left lane, well done. We just missed the right signal, otherwise, oh, yeah. <laughs> very nice junction. After 800 yeah. yards, turn right. A504, Station Road. Sat navs can be wrong, car can be wrong, but oh, it's, it's correct. And then here we have different signs. Yeah. A little bit too close to the pavement. Try to use the line on the right as a reference. It's After right 400 line, yards, right. turn right, You'll then be in the turn right. You'll the right corner of the windscreen. Very good mirrors, excellent signal, good speed, very good, well done. Excellent mirrors, nice blind spot check, good signal. Turn right, A504, Station Road, good then position. turn right. Perfect mirror checks in position again. Well done. That's very tricky what you've just done. That was good. Was it good? Yes, it was. You managed that very well, especially all your observations and signals. Very good. 
Hendon, Mill Hill, share the same pursuit. So this is the, the same route, yeah? Yes, it's the Hendon route, yeah. This is the Hendon, I think this was like 11 30 route, so kind of an afternoon. How many routes do they have? 29. What? Yeah. Stop it, oh my. There's no other test center that has more test routes, in fact, so yeah. Welcome 29. to Hendon. 29, yeah. oh goodness. Yeah, it's a maze around here. No, in my luck, I'll get the route that I've never practiced. <laughs> well, 29 different routes, yeah. Uh, we're straight across. That will be good mirror chairs. A lot of people do U turns. We'll just turn it back. Brilliant. Thank you. Turn right, Edgeworth Avenue. After 200 yards, turn left, tall but crescent. Turn left. Lovely double checks on your observations. And just pull up on the left, don't worry about the yellow line or driveway, just anywhere on this occasion will be fine. Fantastic, thank you very much. Okay, have you done an emergency stop before? Okay. Alright, okay, so what we do, it's quite simple, it will feel scary because okay. you haven't done it before. The examiner will ask us to pull up and stop on the left, just okay. like this, is how it works for the test. Mm -hmm. They will give you this longish speech. The speech goes like this. This is the part of the driving test where if it's safe, I'll ask you to do the emergency stop. I'll put my hand up and say the word stop. When you hear the word stop, that's when I'd like you to do your emergency stop, just like you've been practicing with your driving instructor. Okay. That's the speech. Now, outside of that, what we do is we wait for the examiner to say stop. Mm -hmm. We do no mirror checks. Normally, when we slow down, we're just yeah. going to check to see who's behind us. But if it's an emergency and someone had run out on the road, mm -hmm. we don't have time, and it's more important we just stop the car. So for the emergency wow, as I'm stop, driving. as you're driving, yes. What? What if the people behind me? <laughs> so for your driving <laughs> test, if that happens, yeah. the examiner would, would, would do all the safety checks, and they will say oh, we see. can't do it because it's not safe. Okay. So what I'd like you to do is just forget doing the emergency stop mm -hmm. and just continue to drive as normal. Mm -hmm. That does happen from time to time, but usually they'll take us on a really quiet road. So hopefully okay. that does happen and, and we can do it, but it comes up. It does come up. Yeah. So and what do safe, I just stop? Like this? Yes. Even if I'm like driving, I don't know, 50. So if it was a real life situation, that yeah. would be quite scary. But for the driving <laughs> test, it would be roughly about 20 miles an hour. Okay, that's cool. Then. Um, it's still going to feel a little bit scary because you haven't done it before. No. So for everybody that hasn't done something, there's always that newness okay. to it, which makes it a bit scary. Mm -hmm. yeah? But literally, once you've done it once, you'll be like, it's not that bad. But let's get you to do it first. Okay, okay? Sure. So we can practice maybe a couple quite slowly to start with, see <laughs> how you feel. And then maybe okay. we can increase the speed and do a little faster one towards the end. Okay, All right? cool. So what I'll ask you to do then is drive on when you're ready. Okay. I'll put my hand up and say stop. When when you hear stop, just no mirror check, just put your foot on the brake. Okay. okay. And that's it sure. for now. And we'll do the next bit after. Sure. Thank you. Sometimes the examiners will look over their shoulders briefly, mm -hmm. look into the side road here just to make sure, okay? And then shortly after they'll, they'll do it. So be okay. ready. Stop! Just like that. Just like that. You can be a little bit firmer on the brake, but that's okay. okay. But if you want to push I, it I'm harder... I'm using this brake, I'm not using this one. Correct, right? no need for any hand okay, brakes, cool. just the foot brake. Sure. Now, we've stopped. This is the hard part. That's the easy part. Mm -hmm. We must look over both shoulders before we drive away. Okay. So, so imagine... Both blinds. Yeah. So if one child ran out after the football, we look around, we see it's clear, we can drive away. Cool. All right. So when you're ready and it's safe, drive on. Lovely. 
And do I need to signal? Or? No, no, just the blind spot checks. Okay, so cool. Just looking over the shoulders out the back windows. That's all we need. Should we practice one more? Go on. A little faster. You ready? Stop! Oh yes, much better. Wow. Hello, handbag. Where did you come from? <laughs> All right, drive on when you're ready, please. Ten. Nice blind spot checks. Okay, that was perfect. Yeah. Just because we're coming towards a bit of wet, so say it might have been at some point, but they've moved okay. the sign now, so it looks like we can pass through here. Uh, just because of this, it wouldn't really be safe for me to ask you to do it again. So if you just drive as normal. And we can maybe do one of those another time. Okay, okay. sure. So just continue to follow sat nav again. Thank you. Well done. Ten ten. Both of them were good. Yeah? yeah? You mm -hmm. sure? Yes. You're second one was better. Me. No, the, the second one was much better because you were firmer on the brake. Yeah. More like a real life situation. So At yeah, the end of example, road, the second turn one was left, than the first A five four one. station road, then take the second right. Turn left, then take the second right. Lovely observations. Quite a bit of road there, actually. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn right, Vivian Avenue. Excellent for speed. Very good positioning. Perfect point to turn. Lovely right. All right, show me, tell me questions. We briefly talked about the tell me. Yeah. I'm going to do a show me, which you most likely know anyways. <laughs> so with the show me question, slightly different from the tell me question. It's done yeah. while driving. Okay. And you can do it whenever you feel like doing it. So there's no rush. Oh, is it? Okay. The examiner will ask the question like this, when it's safe. So that okay. means take all the time you need when you feel it's safe, mm -hmm. you can try doing the question. So, when it's safe, would you show me how to use the horn? <laughs> Lovely, perfect, thank you very much. There you go. That's After 200 yards, turn right, simple, A41, yeah? Hendon right. Way, then take the second left. Nice if you're crossing, pedestrians almost at the middle. Once they reach the middle, we do need to stop. Two mm. separate crossings. Okay, so if they are walking there, I can still go. You can if you feel it's safe, yes. It's okay. up to you. If you feel they're too close, you want to stop, that's fine as well, yeah. Otherwise, yeah, try to continue. Turn right, A41, Hendon Way, then take the second left. Was there? Very good. Yeah, it felt controlled to me. I didn't even feel me At like the end of the road, turn seat, right, you know chain right. walk. Nice, yeah. Turn right, Hendon Way, then take the second left. Turn right, Hendon Way, then take the second left. When you join the dual carriageway, yeah. try to join immediately into the left lane, and then that way we might not need to do okay. any lane changes. And you know, like when I was going into yes. the right? Mm -hmm. Um, it was a red light. Do I still go? Because obviously there was a van coming. Correct. Yes, because you've already was, passed yeah. the stop line. I don't want to be stuck in the middle. Good. That's it. So yeah. is that okay? It's one hundred percent okay. okay. Yeah. It's the only time when you want to go on a red light. Mm -hmm. You pass the stop line. After two hundred yards, bear Excellent left, Hayley Road. Then go left on the roundabout 
and take the first exit, Shire Hall Lane. Bear left, then go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Shire Hall Lane. They use um, GPS all the time. Or? Yes, uh, 80%. Oh, 80%. Okay, yeah, so what's the other 20%? Signs. <laughs> oh, gosh, that's even bump. worse. Yeah, I know. I'll never forget. I had it on my test and I did it where I lived. So, what do you mean? Like, they just say, like, I'll oh, follow the road to like this in this place? Yeah. And you just have to like follow by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> oh, <fine. laughs> no. <laughs> I always felt like, where's the sign? Where's the sign? It's like I missed it. So you no, can I prefer ask. this. Your sign way better, yeah, because it's constantly there, right? Yeah. So if you want to glance down, you'll know how far the junction is. So they don't help you, they just don't say, like, oh, go left, go right. They you will. Have, oh, they will, yeah, okay. But you need to ask them, otherwise, they just say, follow the signs. So what I'm trying to say is, at any point, even if the sat man and so on, they've asked them to follow yeah. the signs, you can ask them, they will help you. But you just need to say, oh, I'm After sorry. After 200 you know, yards, where would you go like straight go on Green Lane. Okay. I think the examiners are getting annoyed at me telling people that. But it's true. So if you ask, they will give you direction. Go straight on. After 200 yards, turn right, Bell Lane, then turn left. Turn right, then turn left. Lovely. It's all for us. One way. Yeah, sometimes you'll have little clues, cars parked in the same direction. Yeah. Doesn't guarantee it. What we need to guarantee is these arrows. I so see. they might be on the ground or on the poles. So far, if this was a mock test, you're passing. No way. Yeah. So just ignore me. Seriously? I'm only wow. writing little minor things down here. Yeah. After yes, 90 yards, okay. yeah. turn right, Alexandra Road. Road. Turn right. Does this feel like where we were earlier? I don't know, this feels like no, the area near yours. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm obviously tripping, it's not the same At the area. end of the it's road, the turn right, A504, Finchley Lane. Then, take the second left.
turn now, right, if then I'm take the second correct, left. The learner car drivers just failed their driving test. Why? That's a very good question. Look at the road markings. Look at the the car on the left ah, position. Excellent. Right. Yes, you passed your driving test. Congrats. <laughs> What you know the signal when it's cutting off? Yes. Is it a fail? No. Like, no. Because you've done it. You you tried it. So okay. it cuts off and you do a turn and it cuts off. Mm -hmm. It's not really going to be a serious thing because you I did see. do the signal. It just cut out halfway or something. So not near the. End of the After two hundred so yards, the difference turn is left. If you don't see one. Great north way. We're going to get marked out for not signaling. Turn left. Love the early braking, approaching speed. Running to jogging to walking. To baby crawling speed. I like that. <laughs> yeah, baby crawling speed, yeah. I got told old man walking speed, but then I felt bad every time I said it, so I think <laughs> baby crawling speed. Like uh, what's the other car like? Is it bigger, smaller than this? That you've been driving, um, or driving vehicles you've been driving. It was a Toyota. All right, same, same is size. It Does it feel? Yeah, it yeah, some, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a similar size. Obviously, it's different here. Different <laughs> inside, yeah. 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 The main thing is the size of the vehicle. Um, but do you the, think it's like, better to drive in the bigger car or smaller car? It's more comfortable if you do get a, you're quite young, right? So, but when you get a family, you'll need it. Yeah. But until that point, I'd suggest smaller car. Smaller car. Yeah. Small car because you're in the city, it's just easier to park and get yeah. through those little narrow spots with poles and yeah. all that stuff. Okay, so the reference point I was talking about earlier might have been a bit confusing. So just coming back to it, there's a white line on your right hand side. Mm -hmm. um, might be a bit weird because we're in a bend. If I get straight, that white line on your right side wants to just be in the bottom right hand corner yeah. wherever it is now that's exactly you in the middle of the road and the beautiful part is you can look ahead at the silver car in front and still see the white line in the corner of the windscreen through the peripheral vision so it's nice it, <laughs> yeah let me try and see if i can get a morrison's card in the bottom corner there see where that green yeah. card is yes the white line wants to be somewhere near the green card like when oh, you look I at see. that, you might see okay. it. Yeah. And it is somewhere in the right corner, it's a pretty decent position. And that means we're in the centre of our lane. Yeah. Because I'm only mentioning that because mm -hmm. from time to time, not all the time, yeah. we are gently getting too close to the pavement. Okay. So having that as a reference could be quite helpful okay. just to stay in the centre of the lane. lane mm -hmm. After 800 yards, turn right. Keep left. Yeah, whatever you're doing now is perfect. You're very central. Good at the speeds as well. I know, like, the um, speed is 50. Correct. If I go a bit, like, I don't know. 51? No, like, lower than that. Is that still fine or like? It's okay. Yeah. Yeah. They'll go, oh, I'm just like. Generally, five miles an hour is okay. Five miles, okay. Ten is too much. Ten is too much. Ten is a fail, five is, that's fine. And what if I go over the top? If you go over by more than 10% of the speed, it okay. could be a fail. Keep left, then turn left. 10% of the speed may be minor. So okay. 50, you would have to go 55. Mm -hmm. Anything faster than that, you'd have After to After 100 fail. yards, but turn left, it's all right, west you can go side. Past it. Turn left. We'll turn the control for that, it's not going to go there. And so yeah, the speed, 10% turn right, turn is the right. sort of guideline. I just have to say that it's not law, mm -hmm. just in case you say, oh, my instructor said I'd go over 10%. Yeah. It's not written down anywhere, it's just a general rule, if you like, but don't rely on it. Okay, anything over the speed limit is over the speed limit. I just have to say that for the okay. driving test, they can be 10%. We'll turn left here, yeah, traffic lights. Lovely, thank you. Right, hopefully the sat nav will just give us new direction. Everything seems to be okay, so if you could just continue to follow the sat nav again. Sometimes examiners will give you direction early. After 800 yards, turn right, aerodrome road. Got it. Lovely, good news, good signal. Excellent.
brakes and keeping the signal on, just checking the mirrors again. Very smooth, nice lane changes. Um, really good because you kept the speed going. There's something I wanted to add earlier. Do you know yeah. what I mean? The lane change. Yes. Trying to keep that speed going. After 400 if you yards, can increase turn right. the speed as you change lanes. The speed will make it safer. So we're almost back, actually. It's, uh, oh, yeah. Turn right, Aerodrome Road. This might take us in the back entrance, which okay. is closed. But if it takes us that way, I'm just going to get you to go around that way. Okay. And then we can just stop where the road's closed, mm -hmm. if they're not. So this was one route? Yes, correct, yeah. So this would be sort of an afternoon route, if you like. Morning routes and the last test of the day, first test of the day, last test of the day, they're usually similar. And then in the afternoon, a bit like what we're doing now, I think they usually go on. Yeah, just another 28 routes to cover then. Can't <laughs> <laughs> wait. Yeah, it doesn't matter, all right. That's enough to put someone But they're all like the same kind of thing. Like you go to the same yeah. streets and all that, yeah? Yeah, pretty much. Um, okay. Some of the bigger roundabouts might be involved on some of the other routes. We didn't really cover any of the big roundabouts on this route, which was nice. You get Apex, Mill Hill Circus, and Sterling Corner. They're the big ones. Yes, it does look like it's going to take us, well, I'll take us the back way. So, just follow the road ahead. At some point on your real test, mm -hmm. the sat-nav will say, you have reached a destination. Okay. The examiner will then say, continue to drive, just follow the road ahead. Okay. And I will give you the directions from now on. So you just imagine the sat-nav said, you've reached your destination. Mm -hmm. Imagine I'm the examiner and I'll say, just continue to drive on, follow the road ahead, mm. and I will give you the directions. Thank you. Okay, um, I've changed my mind. Okay. I'm going to get you to do some parking because we haven't done any parking. So you just follow the road ahead. We will reach a roundabout. You might come here on your test as well. What you're probably not going to do is go all the way round the roundabout. Okay? But I'm going to ask you to do that just so we can go and do some parking. So if you keep the right side and signal right, and then at the roundabout, just come all the way around just to come back down this road. Right. Yeah. Good looking marking. It's very difficult to see this roundabout. Nice observations. Lovely. Good judgment. You can accelerate a tiny bit harder if you feel the car is coming. Mm -hmm. But that was nice. Well done. Lovely mirrors. Good again. Lovely. Nice signal there. And very good with all the mirror checks, they were brilliant. The same times that you were checking the mirrors mm -hmm. would have been a good time to add the signal as well. It's a little bit earlier for uh, the yeah, signal, okay. yeah. Now the car park is shortly, it's not that far, I'll give you direction, but it wouldn't be a car park I use for the test. Uh, okay. It's just somewhere where we can find sure. it. It's very quiet. It's a signal left for me. There's just a road here on the left. You can just turn left here for me, please. We'll go pretty much towards the end, and then hopefully we'll get some free spaces. Hmm, should be a little bit busy. There's some gaps here and there. Okay, I'm just slowly come to a stop somewhere here. Should we try a forwards bay park? You see here we have three bays on the left. Mm -hmm. The middle one will give you the most amount of room. 
So I would personally aim for the middle one. If you want to, you can come out here on the right and then swing left. It's up to you if you prefer that kind of style. Or you can just literally drive straight up towards the bay and then just turn full lock to the left. I'm overcomplicating right, I'm things, once, aren't I? So I don't know if I'm going to do it. Yes. Yeah, so what I think is probably easier for me to say is if you have any questions, just ask. Okay. Otherwise, when you're ready, I'd just like you to drive forwards into the, one of the bays on the left. Can always reverse out and mm -hmm. come back and forwards until you're happy with the position, no problem. Absolutely brilliant with your observations, well done. And you can always change the bay just as long as you finish okay. in one of the bays. Does it matter? They don't care, yeah. They don't just care. As long as you finish between the lines, any bay. I'll go for this one. <laughs> yeah, it'd just be easier, won't it? Still okay. not straight, but I mean, I mean. You're inside, <laughs> this is part 100%. Lovely, and just relax. You've parked the car, so you're safe okay. to relax. Whenever you get a chance, just push the power button, the one that starts the car, and just switch.